What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, had Dan Salio. It was weird. It was weird being on the Dan Salio show today without Philly 500, because... Dan was actually showing me some love and actually showing Micah Parsons some love after he was talking to Butch Davis um, about Micah Parsons and things. And I didn't know what to, to, to do because I was literally, I actually had my first aid kit ready because I usually get bludgeoned to death between the two of them and things. And um, it was kind of cool. I've, been, I've actually been sitting here and just kind of not knowing what to do from it. And... Um, you know, I'm a Dak Prescott fan, and I, this is the way I feel is that the Cowboys moving on from Dak Prescott, I think, would be a mistake. That's just my own personal opinion, and and the reason I fight so hard for it is because I look at it and say, we're going off the cliff, and I don't want us to go off the cliff. I'm trying to warn people and stuff, but this is the kind of stuff that I get. This, you see, it's bad enough. You, you guys see some of the comments and things like that. You've seen some of the crazy channels out there that are constantly making stuff up. I even get Marco Polo. Listen to this. I get it on Facebook. I get it on Instagram. I get it on Twitter. I get it. I, I get it everywhere. I get emails. I, I constantly get it when it comes to Dak Prescott. And so I wonder, I wonder, similar to what this person said on the Rich Eisen show, if Dak Prescott would be better off going elsewhere. I wonder if I would be better off if Dak Prescott went elsewhere let's listen to this exchange because here this this is actually kind of sad so you know we're back on deck prescott once again and i, I gotta tell you rich this guy deserves so much better uh, I, I i need to say this the guy needs to play out the last year of his contract in dallas and just move on because it's not his fault that he has only two wins under his belt and the playoffs for the cowboys it's Rich, I was, let me put this way. I was seven years old the last time the Cowboys played an NFC Championship game. That's how long it's been since the Cowboys have done anything. It doesn't matter how many times they've gone to the playoffs and done this and done that. Every single year, it's always like every single day, it's drama with this team. Mm -hmm. It's like an episode of all of my children with this team every single day. Well, I, I get it. I, I just think that's the way uh, ownership likes it. Um, and I think that's the way that ownership is used to doing it. And I think that's the spell my name right PR strategy. And thanks for the call, Derek. I appreciate it. And that's just the way it always has been with the Dallas Cowboys. Always. Even when they were winning their championships. That's just the way it is. Uh, that's the way it was with the Yankees in the 70s and the 80s and the, you know, and they were when they were winning championships then. And I think it's just that part and parcel for certain franchises, that's the way it goes. And that's certainly the heat that comes on it. And that's the fan base that's so passionate about it. But that leads me to a question I want to ask you, TJ Jefferson. And I, I, I'm, I need the, the MS truth here from you, sir. Okay. The what? The ultimate truth. The Emis? Mm -mm. Emis? I've never heard that before. I need the truth from you. Okay. <laughs> Would Dak Prescott, okay. for the rest of his career, be better off somewhere else? 
Oh, 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 oh man. What Derek in Missouri just said, because he said he feels for Dak and that Dak deserves better. Dak also is, you know, feathering his bed with Jones's money, with Jones' money. And, so, and, it's, and, and if that's what matters in this world, and it does for a lot of people, and of course it is very important to be generationally enriched, he's doing very well for himself. And, and when you are the quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys, that does put you in a certain pedestal. It certainly allows you, you – if, if you're a quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys or a pass rusher for the New York Giants, you're in a better position to succeed in mm-hmm. – in your or a quarterback in general, obviously, of a big pr- franchise, well, you it just, gives you a better shot to be a uh, successful in media if that's your mm-hmm. desire. Once you're done, so you just gave the answer that I was going <coughs> to give you. Like, okay, depends on how you look at things. Is it about making money? Because bottom line is, that's what it's all about. People can say I don't do it for money. No, it's about wins. <laughs> it's about making the Hall of Fame. Is it though? I'm is asking. It? I'm, I'm, I'm I, giving. I, oh, I'm. I'm. I'm putting you in this box. It's, in this construct. It's, it's so tough because, like you said, being the co- the quarterback of the Cowboys does present you with opportunities yes. that others won't get. Tony Romo doesn't have that gig if he was the Bengals quarterback. You know, Jason Witten doesn't well, hold get Hold on a second. Boomer Esiason got a gig. I mean, okay, that's true. I always want to push back Good from point. what a Bengal okay, fan yeah. might well, say. Won an, won an MVP, point. though. Boomer won an MVP. He didn't two Super Bowls. I mean, Phil Simms won a Super Bowl in, in, the, in the 80s and... And his finally his CBS run just 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 came to an end. Giants yeah, though, number Giants, one market, number one market. So I'm saying, take a smaller market team like Roma, Witten. They don't get those opportunities. So no, I, would, so would Dak so, be better off? W- it, w- it depends on what Dak wants, Rich. I really like if he wants if he doesn't want to have to pick up his phone every three hours and hear his name on someone's mouth talking about a, a, a boot. Mm-hmm. Remember one year it was about he didn't throw for about two weeks during camp, and that was an uproar. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like he, was, he needed yeah. to see a pitching – he was seeing see, pitching coaches yeah. so from baseball. So there's always yeah. something, and, and people always want to go, well, it's Cowboys fans. I don't yeah, – I still t- don't know that that's necessarily <laughs> the truth. I think it's the media because the Cowboys are the biggest, most valuable team out there. So I really can't answer that. I don't know what Dak is in this for. Is he in it just to make money? Because that's what he should be. Because when you're putting your body on the line, you got to stack your paper. So then let me let let's go there. Let's go here then. Um, utilizing what you just said, how about this? Does he 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 could just he knows one way to do it, mm-hmm. and he could stick where it is. He doesn't leave CD right in the same way that we're yeah. Justin Jefferson said that Kirk Cousins leaving him, surprised yeah. him, and it didn't. He, again, not to repeat myself, but I will. It's sports talk radio. Mike Francesi used to repeat himself five times in the same segment. <laughs> well, because you never know who's tuning in. Right? Correct. Yeah. Oh. So Jefferson elaborated on why he wasn't surprised mm-hmm. and left alone why he was surprised. And I interpreted that to say the reason why he's surprised is why would he leave me? So you're leaving CeeDee Lamb, mm-hmm. who is... You would say on par with Justin Jefferson? When I said Justin Jefferson is uh, the best in the business, you're like, what about C.D. I Lamb? Think, I think right now, Lamb is first. I think Lamb had a better year last has year. every reason to tell <laughs> Jerry Jones, pay me like yeah, yeah. Justin Absolutely. Jefferson. More so than one would say, ah, you can do that with Fact. Jed York. Factual. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Factual. So... You're 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 sticking. You could stick with CD. You stay in Dallas. You don't have to move. You know the owner. You know the situation. I'm a rusty old and you boat. know you're built for. Okay, so they're all focused on my shoulder one year. They're focused on my leg the next. Um, I, I'm also, you know, in line to maybe be the first sixty million dollar a year quarterback. And I have never been uh, within two games of the Super Bowl. Yeah. Okay. And so that's cool. Or is it better off for him to find another spot where he can find somebody who's, you know, in CD's realm or what the Packers are doing, a bunch of young kids, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and peace and quiet? Man. Peace and quiet. You're still making as much money. That's that. That's not going to change. That's not going to change. He's going to make as much money elsewhere. That's apples to apples, I think, the money in Dallas and the money in elsewhere. And go somewhere else and just do it in relative peace you're 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 off the radar screen, but you have a, a potentially even better chance to win because it's a different way to do it there. What do you think? 
the the pressure is always going to be on in Dallas, right? It always, always is. So it just depends, Chris, on how that makes diamonds, is. as we know. Yeah, it, it, and Justin Jefferson knows that as well because he had them all, all over yesterday. Was he going to be the Saints quarterback next year? Yeah, correct. Yeah, for New, New for Orleans instance, that makes sense instance, actually because that's I think that's on the table. That could be possible. How about Jets quarterback next year? Look, we had a caller. No, 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 but that's the same. That's because you're going to New York. It's the scrutiny of New okay, York. Okay, so we, we got to get rid of that. Okay, we, we um, had a caller call in and mention the Steelers a few weeks ago. If, uh, you, Titans. if you remember, Will that. Levis bust, and he's the Titans quarterback next year. Like, yeah, that's not going to bring him any closer to a championship. I'm sorry. No yeah, disrespect. that's not. And I, and I think we forget about him pretty quickly. If Pittsburgh, he's, if he's mediocre. Remember the, the the caller called in a few but weeks Pittsburgh, ago. Pittsburgh. Yeah, I mean the Steelers uh, are is the it, same. It's not the same as Dallas, right? Well, I mean, although the, but the fan New base and the, and the base. attention paid is huge. Right. Let's be honest. Right. The Steelers are probably a greater franchise. All right. So I've laid it out. I need an answer. Raiders? Mm. Is he the Vegas quarterback next year? Oh, baby. Now we're talking because that's real, too. I, but that's again, real. Jack's the Super Bowl. True. Because they've got AOC and All right. Gardner now we've right landed now. on an actual team. Better off for him to be the Raiders quarterback for the rest of his career or to stay put in Dallas. Yeah, Raiders. Go. Raiders. Go. You might as well stay, dog. I'll say Raiders. Yeah, I'll just say Raiders. I'm going to put this out. Go to board. Vegas. You're nodding your head because you want love, him. I would love you that. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Silver oh and Black God, over there. I would love You that. take him in a heartbeat. Yeah. Which is crazy to oh, me, really. Jason, because I see so And you got so Devontae ma- Adams there. I, okay. see, I see so many okay. comments from people. Like, you get the Dak Stinks comments, which is, I swear must be bots or whatever. There's people <laughs> that don't want to look <laughs> they, at the They literally do. Say that he stinks. But then I see so many other fan bases going, I would love to have this dude as my quarterback. Oh, yeah. So it's like, does he really stink or do you not like him because he does he, not stink? He, he he's does with not the Cowboys. Stink. He's because he's the Cowboys. He's with the Cowboys. You don't want him against you. He's an excellent quarterback. I know this, but excellent in the community. You, you excellent read, quarterback. You Come read on. everything. You hear everything. Well, I mean, listen, he but he is now in the same lot as Romo and everybody mm-hmm. else since Aikman. They 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 have not gotten to the NFC Championship game. I think you sent uh, the group a text of uh, an Instagram account mm-hmm. that had the the logos the, of, the, of last, the final four yeah. of the last decade. No, look, there was a lot. There was a lot of red up there. The Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers and the Patriots. Yep. And, Dominated, and then, yeah. and, and then a lot oh, of other mishmash, mishmash yeah. right? Can I ask you guys so, this? But on n- that? no stars. No stars. But would you rather be okay? I look at the Niners. Widely successful, been to the four Super Bowls in the last yeah. few years. They don't have any Super Bowl wins. Now, would been you there. rather be in that position? Oh, we're getting there. We're not winning, though. Or we're, this oh, kind of goes to your thing, Chris. Or would you rather, would you rather be rather Dallas to not out? even get out of the second no. round? See, I'm now, saying, just saying, this goes back to he, your question. He, would you rather get blown out or would you rather lose a, a close game? Here's, would you rather not see, make he's, it there? He's trying to. He's trying to. It's spin zone right this now. Is total. I mean, at this point I'm in time, you guys I'm dizzy. I'm questions. dizzy by the spin. Because, no, no. I, you I, asked I, me a question, then you gave me all the No, I would rather be the 49ers making the Super Bowl. Get out of here. Okay, well, I'm just saying, but. You, I mean, you know, you I, I, of course you want to go to the Super Bowl instead of like, well, it's been, you know, damn near 30 years since you've made it. And and look at the other franchises in the NFL who have done it and other teams and other sports that have made their final four that have not had the problem. With the Cowboys. You don't want any of that stuff. But Dak is a guy who you've got a, the right quarterback to finally get through all that. The ultimate question, we finally drilled down to the actual which team would you rather be for the rest of your career? Staying in Dallas and doing it the same way, and maybe having some, you know, you're, you're in that spotlight where all this, you know, craziness. Real I'm craziness. Chaos is give, going on. I'll give you what I thought about Or you go to the Robert. Raiders where it's a passionate fan base. You're the Raiders guy. <laughs> you're in the AFC West, and uh, you're, you're totally changing up your, your whole career dynamic. And you got Devontae Adams, and you've got maybe um, – you don't have a better roster you're going to. You still have a great pass rusher in Max Crosby. You got a young stud there, too. Two good tight ends. Remember, they got hmm. Brock Bowers uh, and Michael Mayer. Just, just saying. Hmm. Wait, Interesting you're thought. Sitting here thinking, all right, so don't sign me. Let me walk. I, I, you say stay put in Dallas, hmm. though. I'll I, I tell you, back when Romo was playing, I was at a point where I thought yeah, to I myself, that, if though. you put Romo on a different team, yes, sir. and you took that pre- star pressure off of him, yes, maybe he'd thrive a little bit more. Yes, sir. So if you're going to ask me that, 
Paying Dak $60 million is insane. I feel like most Cowboys fans feel that because it's just going to hamper the rest of the team, obviously. So if Dak Prescott didn't play for the Cowboys, he wouldn't have as much pressure on him. I don't know if the pressure gets to him or not. Does it? I don't know if the pressure's as big in Vegas. It's not, I don't know. It's not going to be as big anywhere. But but he those. would have to. He would be he would be raising his hand, saying, "I'll leave the pressure cooker of Dallas to go to less of a pressure pressure cooker in Vegas." But willingly entering Mahomes' world, where I got to win, I got to play him twice a year. Catch the Rich Eisen show. Yeah. And now the pressure, of course, is you got to win. Actually, it may be more pressure because now you say you're not in the pressure cooker of the Dallas Cowboys and, you know, you should be succeeding. And if you're not succeeding in all that, you're in obscurity. So this is kind of an interesting thought all the way around. I don't know, but we're going to find out something. Within the next, well, shoots less than them within between now and next March. How about that? As always, I appreciate you guys.